France and Spain. In full seat. Looking for their first wins of day one here in London. Here's the starting lineup for Los Lelos. They achieved their big achievement last weekend in Toulouse, having secured coronation status for next year. France having a really good season, third overall, and they are booked in the Olympic. Well, they're hosts of the Olympics next year, so they have to worry about that. Spain will be going to the regional qualifier in Poland in June to try and qualify for the Paris Olympic Games. They've got some good support here as well in London this weekend. Nick Hogan from New Zealand, the referee, and we're almost set to go. And I've been joined on commentary by former Wales captain Philip Atatia, who will be offering her expert comments throughout this one. So, Spain in there. Red and yellow outfits get us started, left to right. France in their blue shirts, of course. Jordan Seffel brings it down off the kickoff, and here's Iraguha. Bronze medalist in Toulouse last week in France. Seffo offloads to Loja. Nice dish out the back to his captain, Pauline Riva. Might not have the pace to go all the way, but Jefferson Lee, Joseph certainly does. He's under the post for France. They strike first here in pool C. Twickenham giving them a, a few raspberries as he went under the sticks there, Philip. Yeah, they certainly were. Great intensity from the start there from France, opening up Spain just a little bit too easy. Communication breakdown, I think, there. Just not quite naming up on who they've got. Look at that, it was a nice, easy pull to the side. Two Spanish players over chasing there. That's where the communications let them down. So that ball back inside was the easy option. There you go. They've had some fun at Twickenham lately, France, haven't they? They put 50 on England and the Six Nations here early in the year. World Cup hosts, of course, in 15s. That all kicks off on September 8th in Paris, France, New Zealand, Stade de France. Anyway, this is uh, Rugby Sevens, different kettle of fish in Spain through Nieto. Are looking to respond here. Gerardo Harbo tracks him down. Crowd right behind the Spanish here, and France get the penalty. Iraguha did really well. Lojol, Pasquet from Stade Francais. Sands in the tackle, offloads to Lojol. Sefo, originally from the island of Reunion. Pasquet. Dangerous player. He's a centre in 15s. That's six foot three. Very much in the, the Gale Fiku mould. Joseph. Got the sparkling pink boots on this weekend and that will not stop. Morena winning the penalty for Spain. Good part of their game, isn't it, Philippa? Their breakdown work. Yeah, definitely. That's one of their areas of strength. Low body position, very good technique. Sometimes they overdo it. They try and commit too many players into there. If they don't come away with the spools or they don't slow down the ball, then that's where teams yeah. can get that advantage on them on the outside edge. Reina feeds the line out. Been turned over, though, by Logiel. <laughs> Seen that many times on the series, and France will try and catch him in transition here. Leading 7-0, Pascal. Rayan Rabaj picks and goes for France. Toulon to London and try time for Rabaj. That's Savvy Sevens play there, just having a little test around the rock. Disappointing for Spain, that's the one place you've really got to be tight on your defence in Sevens, is where the ball is. It's so tempting to get focused on the outside edge, worried about the threat of the width or the speed of pass, but always defend where the ball is first, and that's around the ruck fringes. See you okay? Yeah, Rayan Rebaj from the Toulon club in the Côte d'Azur, his big brother Svan's a second rower, and from the senior side there, he had a good night last night, didn't they, Toulon? Won the European Challenge Cup final in Dublin. Glasgow didn't really have a sniff in that game. Sergio Parise with a swan song. Performance. 
It's Spain here. Down 14 0 now. As I mentioned, they'll be looking forward to that. European Games Olympic qualifier next month in Poland. That's gone forward in contact. Advantage. Advantage France. Sefer. Pascal. Advantage over. Cut out ball to Joseph. Seems to be the go to in this game. Jefferson Lee. Joseph, his father, Jeff Joseph, once played at the Super Bowl. In the Calypso band, the Gramax, they're pretty pretty well known in the Caribbean. Miami, 1979. There's number 14, Joseph. His dad did the halftime show at the Super Bowl. Can't all say that. <laughs> Impressive knowledge there. Yeah, look it up, look them up on YouTube. They are cool. <laughs> the Gramax. A Dominican Cadence Calypso band. He's, uh, he grew up in Argen, though, in France, Jefferson Lee. Coach! Argen, great rugby. Five! Centre in France. Yeah. The great Philippe Sella. Hails from. A hum around Twickenham now, that day one hum we get here. Crowd filling up all day. Just under 90 seconds to go in this Pool C game. Both teams looking for their first win of the weekend. And there's the counter ruck from Joseph. He's had a really good half, and Iraguha has it. Oh, the sidestep from Iraguha. How on earth did he do that? Miguel Reyna left in his wake. Lovely little bit of footwork there. Again, around that ruck area. They've obviously targeted this as a weakness in the Spanish defence. Look at that, picking it up off the deck, spilt ball, a couple of bits of footwork and a lovely finish. It's that acceleration, isn't it, in sevens, it's so key. He went one way. Reina went the other. He's a fine player at Aguha, improving all the time from the Massy Club in Paris. That's one of the feeder clubs for Stade Francais in 1992. Pick a few of those off as well. So 21 0, three maximum scores. Is Manu Moreno. Had a great weekend last week. Five tries in Toulouse. Counter up again from France. Well, they had to jump over you. Leave, 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 leave. It's good to hear Big Ben sounding here way. this weekend because actually I had a few problems with the Big Ben during the week. Oh. It, it wasn't ringing. Affecting the cleanup. Did you hear this? It was in the news. They'd recently refurbished it. <laughs> There's been some teething problems apparently. Teething There's, problems. Someone's had to go up there with a bit of WD 40 and <laughs> fix it. Moreno caught in contact by Joseph. Long pass. Into midfield, Spain looking to get some points before the break here. I'm sure the crowd appreciate the context of this situation for these two teams, but of course France already Olympic hosts in Paris next year. Spain will be heading to the Euro Games next month in Poland to try and book their place. Moreno over there on the far side, he can score a try. It's, they managed to get into France territory for pretty much First time in this half. We're a minute into added time here. And there's the offload, and there's the try for Spain. And listen to the crowd. Manteca gets Spain back in this one. Los Lelos have something to smile about. Crowd really getting behind the underdogs, aren't they? Beautiful fizz on that pass. Just invites the player onto the ball. And then, as ever with sevens, the offload is key. Great awareness, rides the tackle, keeps control of the ball, and then releases the speed. They're calling the new pole player, Jaime Manteca. Lots of excitement about this young man, just 18 years of age. And he's got a try at Twickenham and Spain are back in this pool seat contest. 21-7 at halftime, we'll go remember a 12-team tournament in the main draw this weekend. Top eight, that's top two from each pool, plus the next two third-place finishers. They knock out rugby on finals day. Moreno, 
Does really well off the restart. Look at him go. Manu Moreno. Still Gary. Inside ball to Riva for France. Oh, that could have been a highlights reel all in itself for Manu Moreno. Sefo now has brought it all the way into Spanish territory. <whistles> Penalty Spain, they'll get it back. What a run from Manu oh, Moreno. Gutted for him. Absolutely gutted. Brilliant offload just to the wrong player. No, no, sorry. I don't have the numbers. What a run. Oh, individual, a little show and go, gets the fend off. He knows the support is coming. He's just got to try and stay alive as long as possible. Gambles, look, throws Come the insides. On. There are two Spanish players there, but it went to a French pair of hands. Born in Ibiza, Manu Moreno. Crouch! Five. Sit. Morena off the deck. 21-7. Plenty of time to go here. Just under six minutes. Riva just tips La Forga onto the floor. And here they come again. Spain. They're going to get a try. Tobias Saint Chapana gets there. Ooh. They'll Ooh. check this though. Ball did bounce. Was there separation? This is close. Very close. There needs to be clear separation. No try. Yeah. I felt it was lost control. What about the chase from Joseph to get back? Incredible defensive work. Absolutely brilliant. And that type of tackle as well, going low with the twist, gambling, and it might have some knock-on effect to the handling. This Twickenham crowd, which is multinational, let's not forget. There's loads of expats in this crowd are firmly for Spain here uh, uh, very much against so. France. Five. Hola. Sit. Riva for France. Two scores ahead. Pasquet. Logel. Skips through one tackle. He's got Grandidio with him who's come off the bench. He's got pace. Carroll. Oh, lovely feet. Rabaj goes in. Carroll got up and went again. Pasquet changes direction to Grand Didier. Little hitch kick, Aaron Grand Didier. Jonathan Logel. Tackle! Playing in his 89th tournament this weekend. Jonathan Logel, Debbie Wellington 2012. The big number one for France. Only player to play every game on the series. Carroll over to Seffel. Hit hard by Nieto. Toma Carroll from the Poe Club in the southwest. Lovely off from the captain, Riva de Grandidier. And on. there's another one now for Ribajo. That's lovely. Jouet from France. And despite the booze ringing around Twickenham, France have got a bit of daylight now in this one. See, this is what happens, Philip Atasia, when you're 15 aside. Team comes to Twickenham and puts 50 on England. Yeah, I kind of feel for France because they're actually playing some really good sevens. They're turning the ball over, being really clinical with what they've got, being ruthless, scoring as quick as they are. Some nice play, but the crowd certainly isn't rewarding them for it. They are very much Team Spain. And as much as the Spanish are giving it everything here, just some soft missed tackles there, miscommunication in defence again, not quite lining up player on player. Allowing France to enjoy themselves. Grand Didier went to high school in West London. Dual national offloads the ball beautifully for Rayan Rebac. They've just become a really good sevens team, haven't they? Oh, They've yeah. been top four all season. Yeah, I'll win back all time on, it'll come up. Silver medalists in Vancouver. I mean, it's been 18 years since they've won a gold medal on the series. France, Paris, 2005, you've got to go back to. Could this be the weekend for France? I'm not sure the crowd will love it if they do, <laughs> what we heard so far.
Here's Sancho Fang, a denial a little earlier. Look at the big Mo go. Offloads the ball. It's into the hands of Grand Didier. Oh, lovely step. Grand Didier offload. Riva. Carroll. Thomas Carroll will get another one for France. That's number five for Le Bleu. And that should, even with three minutes to go, be enough. Yeah, I think that was the seal of the deal, wasn't it? Again, Spain just trying to force it, get that offload away. Just not quite sticking for them, but that's credit, you know, to the French defence. They're pushing up and they're not just sitting back waiting for tackles to be made. They're continuing to go forward. So if you do see any knock-ons like that, any balls to ground, they can pick it up straight away, turn it into attack. Riva. Thomas Carroll, another youngster in this team from the Poe Club, originally from Paris. Didn't play in Toulouse last week. Real tonic player. Scrum half in the top 14 for Poe. The thing with France, they're really using their sevens program now, not only to develop seven specialists with Olympics in mind, but also to use it as a platform for their. 15 aside club working in tandem with the top 14. Not, can't say the same about some professional leagues around the world. Ramos signs Trafaga. Jaime Mata inside. Oh, Ooh, it's a bit too low the pass. Loretra. Always off the knee with Bang on. Still 90 seconds to go here. He gets the ball away. Pasque, cool as you like. Buys a bit of time, gives it to Rabaj and Rabaj with Carroll. Carroll looks for support, none there. There's some inside, it's Logel, ordinary ball into Spanish hands. Crowd want them to score. And they might get what they want. They will. Spain are in. Vamos. Los Lelos. And the crowd are loving it. It's a little bit too little, too late. But we do know points are key in this in regards to the way the format of this draw goes. So scoring is crucial. Lovely little option on the outside edge. Throws the dummy. Trying to get as close to the sticks as possible. Oh, it's been a good couple of weeks for Spain. Securing coronation status, they won't get the win here. Still be in contention though for the top eight. Remember, top two automatically out of the three groups in a 12-team comp, plus the the two best third place finishes across the pool. So all points are crucial. This points difference invariably will come into it. Come on. Ramos. That left foot. Of his is just a bit too heavy on this occasion. Still got time in this game. Had a big delay in the previous match, so running a little over here at Twickenham. Not sure the crowd mind too much though, Philip. No, I think they're very much enjoying themselves. What are we doing? Tap. Okay. Coming up next, Ireland. Let's go now. Against Japan. Of course, Ireland here were bronze medalists as an invitational team a few years back before they won coronation status. In the series that's been stripped away. Spain are going to get another nibble on the final play. Says Trapanga Ramos Juan Ramos. Good dart through the middle. Here's Manuel saying Trapanga. Tackle out there with his brother. There he is with a long head. Tobias. It's going to be a yellow card here for Tommy Carroll with the clock in the red. France scrum. down to six. Scrum. Spain will have an opportunity. They'll set a scrub. Why not? <laughs> yeah, Manuel Sancho hung out there in number three. He's been around a long time. 30 year old. He hasn't played a lot of sevens of late, but 36th full time event. Packing down the scrum along, alongside his little brother, Tobias. Sit. Ramos. Reina through the hands of Jaime Mata to Alejandro de la Rosa. Teco! Wearing number 43, de la Rosa. 
The two Sanchepanga brothers in tandem here. Will he get his try? He's been very close to bias. Reina, one more pass might do it for Spain. Oh, they don't need it. Oh. Jaime Mata. He was player of the tournament at the Melrose Sevens last year. Up in the borders in Scotland. And he's got to try and twicken them down here in London. That's clinical sevens play, acknowledging they've got that player over. They know if they just go edge to edge and keep possession eventually, you will stretch. But it requires a team not to be selfish. You've got to put the ball through the hands. You've got to trust the gap will appear eventually. Took them deep into overtime, but they got it and they got their try. Yeah, extra couple of points as well. And despite the defeat here, all points crucial in a 12 team event. Spain fall to France, 35 points to 21, but it could have been a lot worse.